Hey, this is John with Proactive in Greenville, South Carolina. As we continue our trailer build, one of the things we're doing is we're hooking up our 12 volt system on the back of the trailer. So what we have is we have two 12 volt pumps underneath our metering system. The one on the right is a seven gallon a minute pump that is our rinse pump. The left is a 5.5 gallon a minute pump, which is our chemical pump. And so we tie all this together, but what I'm going to do is on the back left and right, we put these toolboxes in. We got them off of Amazon for about 80 bucks. They're about 18 by 24. We stack hose reels on top of them. One will be our chemical application hose reel, the one in red, and we'll put another one on the right, which will be our rinse. They go on the system here, and then these are our dry boxes on the trailer. So the left one will hold our batteries inside of there. We have two batteries we'll connect together to be a bump, uh, to run our pumps, we have a battery charger which connects into the truck um, to continually keep charged and also an AC outlet where we can plug it in. And then the right one is a dry box for our towels, our glasses. We let everybody, you know, throw their wallets and stuff in there. That way we have two dry boxes uh, while we work. We now got the boxes in position. Everything's mounted. Let me give you an update where we are. The two boxes, once again, we got off of uh, Amazon. They're aluminum boxes, about 18 by 24. So they work well to hold these Titan 18-inch uh, hose reels. So to show you what we have here is we've mounted the hose reels onto the boxes by going into the corners. It's hard to see here, but if you go down into the corner, you can see we've got a bolt. Uh, through the box and we bolted them with stainless steel bolts to the box the reason we use stainless steel of course is the chemicals in the water and then inside the boxes we basically have bolted in the four corners in the back through the floor of the trailer we bolted them from underneath to secure them and then the boxes sit on top the uh the actual hose reel itself is uh is mounted we've got the uh the 90 on the uh, titan reel and the 45 so as the hose starts to come off it'll roll right around the reel and this will be the dry side this is where we keep once again our towels and glasses and wallets and everything we need to keep dry uh, underneath we've got our electrical configured into the left box which is our battery box so with our two pumps the right hand pump is a seven <clears throat> gallon a minute rinse pump we come off of the pump and come to a marine grade switch and then we go through the floor with some tubing and that goes underneath the trailer and then comes back up through the bottom of the box. Same with our five gallon pump. The, the electrical comes off the pump through a green grade switch is controlled back here at the panel and then through the floor and then it comes up in the bottom of the, uh, of the box and goes to the batteries. There's two uh, group 24 marine grade batteries these are made by Duracell you can get whatever you need in your air we have got them linked together in parallel so we have a black to black uh, connection we're using a four gauge cable which is the same as on a car once again black to black and then red to red in order to connect them in the back and then we use we put one pump on one battery and the other pump to the other but they're connected together so it's just a bank of batteries also back here we have a stealth one battery charger this is an ac charger that i currently have on at the time and it is a dual charger so it's a two bank charger so we hook one set of charging cables to one battery and one the other since they're connected they will all charge anyway and so you can plug that into your ac adapter overnight to get the batteries charged to full or run it off the truck or whatever you need to do during the day as you're working. Here's a final look at the 12 volt setup. The uh, one side we've got a rinse hose which is 250 feet of blue half inch CureTech hose hooks directly in uh, through a half inch line goes directly to a seven a gallon a minute 12 volt pump which is mounted underneath on the side of our metering system. On the other side We've got 200 feet of red half-inch Curtech, which is our chemical application hose. Underneath that in the dry box, we've got two batteries with our AC-DC battery chargers. And then also there is a 5.5 gallon a minute pump there. Uh, this is the 12 volt system. It allows us to do chemical application of roof chemicals, chemicals on any, anything actually we need to do. And then we have a separate rinse pump. And these are separate. These two 12 volt pumps, of course, are separate from our powered power washers, but it allows us to do different surfaces simultaneously. 
So comment below. Give us a call if you've got any questions on our setup. Once again, this is John with Proactive here in Greenville, South Carolina. Thanks for watching.